Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? Hey, 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 it's your boy Fuss here. Thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing, all that good stuff. All the good questions that I've been getting on Twitter, all the good questions that I've been getting on the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys continue to hit me up on Twitter. And this topic was based off of a um, off of a poll that I did on Twitter and kind of comparing it to you guys know that in years before I've kind of done battles when it comes to players and, 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 and not battles to, you know, these guys are, that's the new thing right on IG and, 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 and Twitter and in this time that we're in with this, this, this quarantine state, uh, this lockdown state. I don't know where you guys are, but I hope you're safe. I hope your family hasn't been affected by COVID. Um, but in this state, it's battles, 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 right? And I wanted to kind of do the battle of the second round receiver, possibly the tea leaves, um, more or less. That's what the Cowboys are leaning towards. Now they had some 30 visits today with some potential first round players, depending on how you grade Grant Delpit, um, second, second round safety. I always had him in the first round, but... You know, if you follow the breadcrumbs or you follow, you know, the, the clues, context clues and what's going on with this draft. Right now, Grant is not looking good for Grant Delbert being a first round player. I still think he has first round talent, whoever drafts him. Like he's really one of my pet cats. But anyway, um you know, some news. Kalevon Chason, Grant Delbert, a few other players met with the Cowboys during these virtual thirty visits. Um, teams having to adjust in that way. And listen, the draft really is right around the corner, right? So it's it's going to be nice to get a break from all of this, from, you know, being quarantined, from, uh, from you know, the news, and, and, and just, I wouldn't say it's normalcy, but it's like the first live event that we're, we're going to get to see. And, like, I guarantee every Cowboys fan is going to be locked in all three days of the draft. You might even throw a Zoom party. Hell, I was thinking about throwing a Zoom party with a few fans. If you guys want to do that, let me know. But I'm going to be glued to the TV, watching every pick from every team, just because that's the only sports that we've had in the last month and a half. So anyway, I wanted to get to this topic, okay? Um, I wanted to get to Van Jefferson and Brandon Ayuk, two phenomenal talents. I wanted to kind of compare I wanted to give you guys a background because you guys may watch film, but what are you really watching for? How do these guys win? What can they give you? Um, and what, how do they help you in the league? And I'm going to tell you something right now, okay, before I get to this. You've heard a lot of this is an amazing receiver class. This is the best receiver class. All of these guys, wait, this, that, and the third. I wait, you you can draft a guy here because you don't need that. Yes, great players in college. All these guys look the part at receiver. They're going to come out. But let me tell you what happens in the league. If you do not have a plan for your said receiver, if your receiver cannot do basic things as a route runner, if he's just a physical specimen, he's not going to last in the NFL. He's going to be Laquan Treadwell, all right? He's going to be some of these other guys, you know, Kevin White, a few of these other guys who they all called Des Bryant. They came in and they flamed. So some of these guys that everybody thinks is going to come in and just tear the world on fire, I got news for you. They're not. You're going to be hearing about them like, oh, man, he was a good player. And what happened to him? So that's not to be a negative Nancy, but the truth is all of these receivers that everybody loves, they're not all going to pan out. So – these are two that I have a good feeling that will pan out, pan out. So without further ado, let's get to the comparison, more or less, of Van Jefferson, Brandon Ayuk. Who's the better second-round prospect for the Cowboys? Okay, this is a Cowboys-centered deal here. Who's the better second-round prospect for the Cowboys? And, you know, if, you like other, if you're a fan of another team and you just want some information on the two, here you go. All right, so Van Jefferson, 6'2", 197. Remember, he spent two years at Ole Miss, had some production there, but he did most of his work at Florida. Got the notes here. Hope you guys can hear the pages turning. Um, I watched Virginia, Florida State, LSU about three times. Then I went back and watched some 2018 tape. Florida State game from 18 was really, really good. Okay, so 
the guy is a route king, all right? Not the fastest, not super twist up, but the guy is a route king. It's almost like he's a cheat code. The way that he's able to judge defenders, the way that he's able to set them up. He has this move. Um, I should have some highlights running. He has this move. It's a slide shuffle release. But he also uses that release at the top of routes. It's amazing to see how he's able to use a, a defender's um, body weight against him, how he's able to get them to flip their hips, how he's able to play tricks with them. There's no route that he cannot run. Um, he really comps to Keenan Allen for me. So I saw the same player that isn't blazing fast, isn't big. The run after the catch isn't amazing. Like he's So Van Jefferson isn't going to be Debo Samuel after the catch. He can give you something. Um, and I think he plays faster than what he clocked at the combine and, you know, what people give him credit for. But he it's, it's, it's the route ability. I can't say that enough. Anything that's intermediate, it's you, you can just count him open. How does this help the Cowboys? I think Dak works better with guys who run routes and are going to be where they're supposed to be and, and can create great separation. The slant game, the dig game, he's going to be open. It's not one of those things. Some of these receivers and some receivers, you got to kind of know how to throw them open, i.e. a Dez. You know, some of these guys with those big catch radiuses. That's not Van Jefferson. Van Jefferson is going to scream open with his feet, with his route running. Um, I, I put him, if, if, it, if, if not for the speed aspect, I think he's just as good as Jerry Judy. And I don't say that lightly. Watching the film, watching how he's able to set defenders up, watching how Florida trusted him, and watching the level of competition that he played against. If he was faster, he's Jerry Judy. He's just that good. He went to the com- I mean, excuse me, he went to the combine and ran well. Ran decently, excuse me, in drill work. Um, um, 40 could have been better. But... At the Senior Bowl, he just flat out dominated, couldn't be guarded. Van Jefferson, guys, is a stud. I'll get to who I would take at the end of this video, but that is kind of the, the book on Van Jefferson. Turn the page to Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, 6'1", 206. He's built really compact, guys. He really is. Uh, 65 catches, um, 8 TDs, 1,100 yards in 2019. The games I watched, Michigan State, USC, very, very physical. What Arizona State did with him was they really wanted to get him the ball quick. They really just wanted to kind of let him make plays in the screen game. Um, but he also did do some things in the slant game that I liked. Um, the route running ability is good, not great, and he's going to have to learn how to separate more. Here's the deal with, um, with Brandon Ayuk. I don't think that he could play on the outside, whereas a Van Jefferson I do. Um, but I think that if used correctly, the upside is just tremendous because of everything that he can do after the catch. You look at the way he's built, you look at his frame, um, he's, he's built to take punishment. I thought that Arizona's offense didn't do him many favors, so I had to kind of keep going back and really digging into the film. Now, the footwork is good. I just wish that there's times when I watched him and he didn't really have a plan as a route runner. So there's times that I wish that he had more of a plan. But, listen, when he gets his hands on the ball, he's going to finish the play. And that's one thing that I really, really like about him is that he will finish the play. He, he's a finisher. You look, at Van Je- I mean, excuse me, you look at Van Jefferson, more of a route runner, catch the ball, kind of go down. You look at Brandon Ayuk, catch the ball, he's trying to finish you. So it's really flavors. For me... And for the Dallas Cowboys, the player that I would draft is Van Jefferson. You need somebody who, day one, if there's one, he has an elite ability. I do think that Brandon Ayuk is physical. However, I don't think that he can win on the outside, and I don't think that the, the slot, here's the thing about the slot. The slot is you have to know how to navigate the full field, and you have to be slot receivers almost have to be as smart as the quarterback in knowing the offense. And I just think that's a lot for a rookie to a, a rookie who 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 didn't play big time competition, played good competition, but didn't play big time competition versus a, a Van Jefferson who you see, you know, his game against Derek Stingley, he hit him with that slash shuffle release. It was curtains. It was really curtains call. Um you look at the Florida State game, slide shuffle release at the top of the route. You look at all the other things that he was able to do on the outside and the inside. I just think for this team, if you want a sure thing, now I think that the the the, the ceiling is higher 
with Ayuk. So don't get me wrong there. And this is not a, a knock on him. But if you want a sure thing, you draft Van Jefferson um, in the second round. And, and you and you turn that card in and you're happy that you just got Keenan Allen paired with Michael Gallup, paired with um, um, Amari Cooper. You know, tight end was kind of on the board, but you, you may not need that. So depending on what the Cowboys want to do, I think they're going to go defense Offense in those middle rounds and then defense for the rest of the draft because you don't need a backup running back. Your offensive line is still intact unless one of those tackles or a center you really like falls. But um, I just can't put too many more resources on that offensive line. Safety is in question, and I'll do, I'm do. i going to do a comparison with Duggar and, um, and, and Grant Delpin and maybe, another, and maybe another safety in that mix. But these guys are both second round talents. They're not going to go in the first because you have those slotted guys, uh, Henry Ruggs, uh, C.D. Lamb, obviously, and then um, I was about to say Grand Delpit. That's how much I love Grand Delpit, Jerry Judy. But for my money, I'm taking Van Jefferson and I'm going to sleep at night because I feel like I just got a stud. It's your boy Fusta King. You guys, let me know what you think of this video. Just a comparison video. Some highlights were on the screen. Um, drop your comments. Also, drop your receiver that you would take in a second or receiver that you would take in this draft if you want to wait, push back. All right, guys. Peace.